Hey, what's hey, going Tony on? Hey, it's, it's, it's us two. <laughs> From Two Dudes Reviews. And today, uh, we, you know, a couple of weeks back for Cinco de Mayo, um, I did the, uh, the the solo tequila review. And today, yeah, the weather is nice and yeah. warm. Wait, We're having margaritas. What, what the hell? Yeah. Why wasn't I included in the tequila review? Well, I don't know. We can do more tequilas later. Oh. No, uh, no actually, I was we here. did. Yeah, we Shut did. Up. Never mind. I'm drunk already. Uh, so today we're doing uh, reviews on a couple of different orange liqueurs from uh, an economy orange liqueur to the granddaddy of all orange liqueurs, the Grand Marnier here on Two Dudes Review. We're back. We're back. Andy does not know which is which here. I don't. So before we get into, I'm going to talk about these. I want you to try these, and while I'm talking about these, I want you to tell me so what I'm, you like about the different. I'm, I'm tasting here. and talk, and you're talking. Yes. There's you're two here. Talking. Okay, this is a Grand Imperial. This is not necessarily the bottom of the barrel. I'll show you that a little closer. It's not necessarily the bottom of the barrel, cheapest crap you it's can possibly get. the bottom of the bottle. Get, but it is the bottom, the of, bottom the of the bottle. the bottom of the bottle. It is an orange liqueur from France. Uh, places like Total Wine, Specs. Your, uh, a lot of your liquor stores are, are going to carry that. Even Trader Joe's, I believe, has it. I've seen it in the neighborhood of twenty dollars to twenty six ninety nine, depending upon where. We just checked Total Wine, and I believe it was twenty five ninety nine, twenty twenty four ninety nine. That wasn't Total Wine, but it was something. Yeah, it was something. Um, okay, what am I supposed to be doing? This tastes like orange. It does taste like orange. Wow, nice orange. Um, so I want you to tell me which one of these two you like more. I mean, uh, and you're familiar with the distinct flavor of Grand Marnier, yes or no? I don't know. I don't normally drink it. I mean, I'll have it in something. When I was younger, we used to in do a, something called grandmas, where we'd put the Grand Marnier into a shaker and shake it up and then throw the chilled shot and do it as shots. And huh. Until I got drunk that one time. Thank you, Todd Ziegler. I'll never do that again. Uh, this is the Grand Marnier. All right, Grand Marnier. This is the uh, same size as the Grand Imperial. The difference is, is this is typically fifty dollars and more, fifty bucks and up. I got lucky on this one. Mm. Um, Safeway was doing a special on this where it was forty nine ninety nine and it was ten dollars off at the register. So I got this bottle for thirty nine ninety nine. It was a pretty good deal. Oh, nice for a seven. I thought maybe you scraped it out of somebody's basket on your way out. <laughs> I could have done that. Um, so what do you think of the two? First of all, which do you like better, this one, the clear glass or the frosted glass? And do you think that there's a marked difference between the two? The clear glass mm -hmm. has a much more viscous mouthfeel. Okay. And, it, and it's sweeter to me. It's, it's, yeah, it's more liqueur -ish. It's more syrupy mm -hmm. than this other one. And so with my palate, I would, I would if I'm going to like throw this some stuff over ice, I would drink this one. Okay, okay. So you, you think that the that this one's better. Now, just looking at the color better? of these. I didn't say better. That's just my preference. Your preference. Okay. And so this one is a little bit lighter to you, maybe. Yeah, yeah, lighter in color. The, yeah. There is a color difference. I know it's hard to tell because I use the screwed up glass over here. This one a little bit lighter. This one a little bit darker. This is the cheap shit. Yeah. This is the Grand Imperial, and this is the Grand Marnier. And yeah, that Grand Marnier just... If you're just, mm. if you're, and I guess it, it it lends itself back to context. Yeah. If you're just gonna sit around and drink and something over that. ice, yeah. Um, I you might want the expensive stuff. I mean, once this gets some ice in it, it's gonna water down a little bit and it'll mute the flavor a little bit. Uh, might be all right. This one here, if you're gonna be mixing, making, oh wait, we're making margaritas. margaritas. Yeah. Hello. It's a good floater. It's a great float. So I would They're say both excellent. If floaters. it's but if it's for mixing, mm -hmm. why not use the cheaper. Uh, the cheaper bottle because it still tastes damn yeah. good. I'm that would be all. my vote as well. If I'm having a big dinner and I wrap up with the dinner, it's actually very nice, especially around the holidays, around Christmas and such, mm -hmm. to have a little snifter of the Grand Marnier, the liqueur, and a cinnamon stick, and a cinnamon stick is that would just be awesome. delicious. Yeah, and uh, you just know you can also mix it with uh, with your coffee and some chocolate, uh, you know, like cocoa or Andy's chocolate sauce, chocolate coffee, chocolate chocolate Ooh. coffee. Chocolate Warrior sauce. Roasters Mocha, Mocha Valencia. Mm -hmm. This Mocha is where Valencia. it got the inspiration for the Mocha Valencia. Nice. So there you have it. Uh, 50 bucks or 20 bucks. Uh, it's your choice. If I'm going to be floating something in a margarita, I'm going to angle for this because I can get two of these bottles in the time that I go through one of the big ones. But um, there you go. It's two dudes reviews. <laughs>